Recently, my arch nemesis and self-proclaimed APRS guru, Jason KM4ACK. Did he really just call me his arch nemesis? Stick around and we'll get right to it. Recently, my old pal KAMRD put out yet another video bashing on APRS. Mike went out to his local park with an HT and he tried to get into a digipeter that was, I don't know, roughly 20 miles away. He tried that first with the regular stock antenna for the HT. Then he tried it with a signal stick. Still having no luck, he tried it with a Yagi antenna and finally a J-pole at roughly 40 feet in the air. And he was unsuccessful on every single attempt. Today, I'm going to try to reach the DigiPeter and I'm going to do it on a dummy load. All right, so as you can see, I've got my FT5 connected to a dummy load. Now, we'll zoom in a little bit closer on this image so you can watch exactly what's going on. I am on 144.390. My APRS modem is on. The GPS already has a lock. Let's go ahead and try to send a message with APRS. And oh, well, look at there. I'm already getting position reports to this radio. But let's go ahead and see, just because we can receive... Can we transmit? Someone will hit the F menu button. We'll go into the message list. And I'm going to move down one to this message that I sent earlier. And we're just going to send a, uh, another message. So I'm sending it to WXBot with the today in the body. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if it will receive it and reply with our current weather forecast. So I'll just hit the reply right here. And then we'll simply click M-TX for message transmit. You should be able to see the radio transmit. And we'll see, oh, look, I got an acknowledgement that he received that message. And next, I should be seeing the message here in just a second coming back through. Look at that. And we did it on a dummy load. So exactly what did this prove? Well, about as much as Mike's video proved. It just proved that I'm sitting underneath a digipeter and it's easy to get into it with a dummy load. Mike is a little further away and was having an issue. Now, maybe that was Mike's location and terrain. Maybe there's an issue with the other digipeter he was trying to get into. It's really hard for me to say without being there and doing some testing. However, I do have a challenge for Mike. Mike, instead of turning on the camera and bashing APRS, how about you become part of the solution? Here's the thing. I've got a Raspberry Pi 5, brand new in the box, that I will send you so you can build your very own DigiPeter. But wait, there's more. If you don't want to go watch one of my videos and figure out how to build that DigiPeter, I will even program it for you. How's that? All you got to do is supply a digi-rig and a radio, and you can be part of the solution with your very own digipeter on the air. If you found today's information entertaining, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.